welcome to another day as you can see we have something new here we have a new color and we have the project we did last time the ridged single crochet pattern so today i'm going to teach you how to change color so i decided to use to change color in this pattern because um, it is the latest pattern i taught you so if you didn't get it clearly last time you can actually still refer to that video or still use this one to get this ridged single crochet pattern and understand it and do it so as uh, we know before we did a slip knot we did a chain of 10 we added an extra of one after that we worked a normal row of single crochet and then after that we chained one and then started working on the back loop of our V so as uh, we know we usually do uh, work under both V's yeah but this time we worked on only one V at the back the one at the back you know the one farthest from you not this one but the one farthest from you so this is how we came up with this uh, this pattern it is very nice pretty you can use it for many things sweaters i've used it for sweaters tops blankets i've used it for pillowcases i've used it for like this pattern is a pattern that can be used for anything and everything so i hope you will enjoy so today i'm going to teach you how to change color to mix color yeah I know you guys are excited so I want to teach you how to change color at the beginning of your work and I will also show you how to change color at the middle of your work you know there sometimes you don't want the color to start from the end you want it to start at the middle ni, 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 ni. so I'll show you how to do both of those okay so let's get right into it uh, you can go back to the video check this and before we continue i'd like to ask you guys to subscribe uh, please view the video to the end and also like share to your friends tell a friend to tell a friend you know you can do anything you want you you'd like to do anything that fits you that will help this uh, video go uh, everywhere around the world okay so let's get into changing color <laughs> So let me just do one more row of this ridge pattern and then we will get into it. So we chain one and we turn our work around. Then we do a normal single crochet in both Vs. And then now we start our ridge pattern at the second stitch, you know. You insert your work at the back. 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 Then when you get into the last one, you do a normal single crochet. That means you insert under both this and then, yeah. So in the next row where we're going to bring in this color, we are going to do this. So when you you have this, uh, yeah, let's say yellow is uh, color number one and then this brown is color number two so color number one is the one that we started with so we are going to tighten it as much as we can and then we are going to bring this second color let me pull it a little bit so that it doesn't give me time yeah so color number two is going to be hold your your color number two like this and then hook it onto your hook it onto your yarn yeah insert it onto yeah color number <laughs> insert it onto color number one and then chain one remember the one that we we usually chain before we start our work and then you want to ensure that this extra yarn of color number two is not hanging yeah you want to put it inside like this and then ensure it is coming to, this cock is really testing my patience but anywho we are going to continue <laughs> why <laughs> 
because we can't we can't do anything. We can and it's coming closer. He's coming closer to distract us. Why is he coming closer? He is really he is really testing my patience. But anyway, ah, we are going to go on. Okay, so I've dealt with the cock. Let's continue. <laughs> Okay, so you want to ensure, let me go back and just explain to you. You want to ensure that this excess is not hanging like this. Bring it at the back like this and ensure it is uh, parallel to your work like this. So that we'll get rid of it as we continue to do the single crochets. So we say that the first stitch we do a normal single crochet so we work under both V's here yeah? and then you yarn over then the next ones you're going to insert your work under the second V yeah so when you insert your work under the second V ensure this extra is right there on top you know so that it ends up inside within the stitch yeah you insert your hook and then you work with it so that it disappears inside there, it doesn't hang out. So, insert your work under here. Mm -hmm. Insert your work under here. Insert your work. You see it's disappearing but it's not hanging anywhere outside. It is inside the, the single crochets that I'm doing. Yes. Then you ensure it disappears in there completely yeah so you continue working and then when you come to the last stitch what you do is work a normal single crochet that means you put it under all the V you put the hook under all the V's then you've changed your color so you let's continue with other rows chain one insert your hook under both V's and then start working on the back the back loop start working on the back loop start working on the back loop mm -hmm. as you can see the pattern is still very pretty when you come to the end you insert your hook under both yes chain one and then continue insert your work under both and then work on the back loops work on the back loops yeah so i'll leave a description below like step by step written description of how to do all these things to change the color and to do the the ribbed single crochet pattern and uh, feel free to share all your uh, journeys share your pictures yeah i'd like to shout out to dennis dennis sent me his picture of a, a blanket single crochet he's doing he followed the first video and he's really doing good he's even gone ahead of the teacher you know he's already knitting so if you can access the instru the tools buy yourself knit sticks buy yourself hooks so that you can be able to familiarize yourself with different kinds of hooks but the best one i i would suggest for a beginner is a 5mm hook yeah it doesn't have to be like mine it can be made of bamboo wood or any other thing just to what is comfortable in your fingers feel free to get used to them you know so that you're comfortable with them and you know the more comfortable you are with the tools the faster and the more creative you get because you'll be you know you'll be very used to them and you'll be free to like try new things and you know so guys uh, i think uh, we have managed to change color and as you can see this is how it looks like mm -hmm. we have our yellow and then we have and it's very seamless you, you, as you can see it's very seamless it doesn't look like uh, it's off it, because it's just a continuation of the same thing just a change of color and that you'll achieve by following uh, in detail the, the instructions that i gave you 
and uh, in future videos i'll tell you how to sew in the ends and all those things but for now just learn how to transition to a different color transition to a different color and uh, you'll be good to go so i'd like to say thank you guys for tuning in and uh, please uh, share share your comments share your views share how your crochet journey is going and i'll be very grateful thank you so much and uh, have a good day bye bye